Welcome back to the Rebel Basketball League. We're going to check out three more games today, but most importantly, it is the biggest RBL debut. It is Kyrie Irving. He was selected with the number one pick by the Raleigh Calvary, and he's looking to get the Calvary to their first ever playoff appearance this season. Kyrie was fed up with the lack of free speech and self-expression in the NBA, and after seeing his teammate Klay Thompson declare for the draft, Kyrie knew that the RBL was legit, and he wanted to join as well. He will be taking on the Chicago Legacy in the first game of the video, and the other two games are the Fort Worth Panthers versus the Columbus Coyotes, and then the Louisville Liberty versus the Tampa Bay Sharks. And we also have a lot of custom players to showcase, including Sean Henson of the Calvary, George Ham, Chad Warner for the uh, Legacy, uh, Hapar Pickett for the Liberty, uh, as well as Arthur Escobar. And then for the Panthers, we have Lucas Monroe. And for the Sharks, we have a lot. Jackson Coffey, Kelgen Smith, Noah Sheffield, Brady Bennett, William Whitmore. And then for the Columbus Coyotes, we have Jim Bob and Dylan Miner. Let's get into the games, guys. And as I said earlier, we're kicking it off with uh, the Raleigh Cavalry versus the Chicago Legacy. And the Legacy are repping their new alternate jerseys. Uh, a couple of uh, teams in this, in this uh, video will be showcasing them. Uh, I'm, I didn't give the Calvary one because, well, maybe I will eventually, but I mean, the colors are black and white. There's nothing really new I could do there. Like, I tried like a red jersey, but I don't know. Uh, that one's a work in progress, but I really like the uh, Legacy's uh, new alternate jersey. But yeah, the uh, uh, Kyrie Irving-led uh, Calvary are looking to make their first ever playoffs in Season 4. And uh, they could do it. They have a pretty talented roster this year. They have uh, Kai Jones as a starting center. Uh, stretch four and uh, basically a two-way forward in Chumo Kiki. Gordon Hayward, who's a bat, who's a great uh, scorer. And then uh, there's also Sean Henson, who just made a uh, bank shot there. Uh, Sean Henson is in his second year, and he's an amazing player. He kind of reminds me of Dwayne Wade of a jump shot, so he's a really solid player. But there's George Ham making the alley-oop, who is now the new starting power forward for the Chicago Legacy after they trade away Thomas Bryant. Ham gives them some really good defense and a slashing ability. There's Kai Jones with the put back uh, bucket right there. Here's Kyrie Irving pick and roll Kai Jones. And that is the first ever basket for Kyrie Irving in the RBL. He is on the books now and uh, with the mid-range jump shot right there. He comes off a screen from Kai Jones and he gets a three-point jump shot to go to the first ever three-pointer for Kyrie Irving right there. Here's another pick and roll. It seems to be a pretty um, good pick and roll they got Irving and uh, Jones there. And uh, Irving gets the three-point jump shot to go. And here is a rookie Chad Warner for the Chicago Legacy. See what he can do driving in. And gets the layup over uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. So uh, there's Chad Warner's uh, first ever bucket near RBL. There's Kyrie Irving once again with the spin move. And gets a floater over Marvin Bagley. That was a tough shot right there. And uh, he, he shots like that just gives the Calvary something new they have never had on their team before. There's Chad Warner with a three-point jump shot right there. But yeah, I, I think the Calvary could make the playoffs. I mean, 16 teams make the playoffs in the RBL, so uh, you have a great chance to make the playoffs in the RBL. Um, but there is Chad Warner with the N1 attempt, having a good start to his RBL career so far, and gets the uh, free throw to go. And the Lakes here up three right now, 34-31. And there is a big slam there from Marvin Bagley, uh, drafted by the Legacy this offseason. Here's the Calvary here. Sean Henson pulls up from three and gets it to go. Smooth jump shot right there. And playing the air guitar, I think that was interesting celebration there. Here's Mike James. Sends it to Cameron Reddish from three and gets it to go. Good assist there from Mike James. And let's see if Cameron Reddish can finally have his breakout season. He's played all right in his first two seasons, but um, he hasn't been the uh, you know the number one option that he uh, was you know drafted to be for the legacy. Um, but I mean, it's kind of hard when you got Boogie Cousins and Mike James on the same team. But there was another uh, jump shot there from Kyrie Irving, having a great first game of his RBL career. And there's Demarcus Cousins with the post hook over Kai Jones right there. Marcus, uh, Demarcus trying to get the energy up for the legacy as they look to have their best season yet. They made the playoffs for the first time last season as an 11 seed and went one and one against the uh, St. Louis Sound. They uh, almost took out the number six seed. Uh, sound who were a great team last season and here's george ham with the great putback slam right there it is a close game the calvary are up five cam reddish misses the layup but luckily george ham makes the hustle play and gets the offensive rebound put back and now it is a three-point game between the calvary and legacy 
Oh, and a big defensive breakdown from Kai Jones right there and allows Boogie Cousins to get the slam. And it, they are now only down one. Kyrie Irving makes a free throw to put the Calvary up by two. See if they make this one. And gets it to go. Clutch free throws there from Kyrie Irving. We'll see the legacy he can do in crunch time. Alright. And they throw it up to George Ham. Who gets it to go? What an amazing uh, play that was right there. Here's some more free throws from Irving. Gets the first one to go. And uh, I expect him to get the second one. And he does there. So, uh, Kyrie Irving coming up to clutch as he always does. Let's see if the uh, legacy can get off a three. Here's Mike James. Pulls up and gets it to go. Mike James gets the three-point jump shot to go for the Chicago Legacy. Let's see if Irving can win the game for the Calvary. Pulls up from mid-range and gets it to go. That's going to do I, They can't get a shot up. Yep, that does it. Kyrie Irving in his debut makes the game-winning jump shot for the Raleigh Calvary. And um, yeah, that is that is just textbook Kyrie Irving right there. Exactly what you'd expect. Give the ball to him in crunch time. He will make magic happen. So great job there from the Calvary and Kyrie Irving. Uh, Chicago also had a great game. Props to them. But it's hard to stop Kyrie Irving uh, when he's in the zone. And we're now into our next game. The Columbus Coyotes versus the Fort Worth Panthers. The Columbus Coyotes have a brand new backcourt of rookies. Jim Bob and Dylan Miner. They are looking to take the guard play to a whole new level for the Coyotes. And let's see what the Panthers can do from the inbounding spot here. They give it to Kimball Walker. Pulls up from three and gets it to go. Good start there from Kimball Walker. And uh, I really like the Panthers' uh, uh, black jerseys. The new black jerseys for the Panthers. And there is a the first ever bucket for Dylan Miner right there. First ever make for a uh, solid mid-range jump shot there. Here's Jared Solinger. Gives it back to Dylan Miner. Pulls up from three and gets it to go. Great start here from the rookie, Dylan Miner. All right. Let's see what they can do with the ball here. And they send it to Hunter Dickinson. Great assist there from Sharif Cooper. And Hunter Dickinson has, uh, he, was a, he was a candidate for rookie of the year last season. Had a great start for the Coyotes. They're hoping to make the playoffs, and if Dylan Miner keeps making shots like those, uh, they could definitely make the playoffs, uh, especially with their offense. Like They're definitely going to have to work on their defense eventually, but uh, Dylan Miner is much of a defender, great offensive player. Same thing with Hunter Dickinson, uh, but Jim Bob is actually a good two-way guard for them. And there's a good shot there from the son of Shaquille O'Neal, Sharif O'Neal, coming off the bench for the forward Panthers. And there's a great lob from Tyreek Evans to Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons had a great season last year, and the Panthers did it overall. They were the number two seed last year, but unfortunately lost to the Pittsburgh Force in the second round, so they're hoping to uh, make the finals and ultimately win it all this year. And here's Jim Bob, pulling up from three, gets it to go. He's a great all-around player, defense, three-point shooting, ball handling, whatever you need, Jim Bob's got you. Here's Dylan Miner, pulls up from three. He's proven to be already a great offensive player for the Coyotes. Here's Jim Bob once again, and gets another three-point jump shot to go. Could we have a new Splash uh, Bros lineup? Or a duo, I should say. Do we have a new Splash Brothers duo? Uh, uh, Dylan Miner and Jim Bob. Who knows? We'll have to see them play more. But there's a good jump shot there from Tyreek Evans. And here's Dylan Miner in the corner. Gets another three to go. He's playing excellent so far. And the Panthers are up 12 they're doing pretty good against the Coyotes. But here's another three from Dylan Miner playing awesome. And here's Tyreek Evans with the ball. Gives it to Ben Sims who pulls up from mid-range and he makes it. Ben Sims made a jump shot. That's got to be a first in the RBL for him. Um, or in general. But but that's going to do it. The Fort Worth Panthers beat the young Columbus Coyotes. The Coyotes could, they could make the playoffs this season. But they are still young. They definitely need time to develop. But if Dylan Miner and Jim Bob play immediately good as rookies, they could definitely make the playoffs because they also have Hunter Dickinson help them out. Josh Akogi, uh, Josh Akogi with the defense. And they also have Jared Solinger for some extra offense from the forward spot. But a great game there from the Panthers. But we are on to our last game. Louisville Liberty versus the Tampa Bay Sharks. Should be a fun one. A lot of custom players uh, on the Sharks side. And I believe this is the first time we're seeing their home court. It's very bright and a vibrant, so let's see how the Sharks can do on home turf. And there is Kelgen Smith, the rookie, making his first ever RPL bucket. Already starting at center for them. They moved uh, the Sheboy to the four spot. And uh, that is why. Oh, 
I thought he was gonna make it. Can he hear? He gets it to go. Took a couple shots, but Kelton Smith gets it to go. But here is a big rivalry. Um, Kelton Smith versus Habar Pickett. Uh, they are two of the tallest centers in last year's draft, and also two of the best centers, so uh, they don't like each other very much, so we'll see how they do against each other. But uh, Pickett was on the Sheboy this time and gets it to go pretty easy for him. The 7'6 center for the Liberty. And here's Pickett Wolf Escobar and uh, Pickett. And there's Arthur Escobar with the three-point jump shot coming off the bench for the Liberty. And here's Kelgen Smith. Great pass to Noah Sheffield who slams it. Great uh, stuff there from Noah Sheffield. Who is definitely expanding his game. He was just a shooter when he joined the leap, but Sheffield is now a uh, great leaper and dunker. Good overall slasher now, you could say, for Sheffield. And here's Kelgen Smith and transition. The thing that stands out about him is his ball handling and playmaking ability. And we see it right there for uh, uh, the Sheboy. Great pass to Sheboy from Kelgen Smith. Here's Dennis Smith Jr. Pulling up from three, gets it to go off the assist from Jackson Coffey, who had a great rookie season for the Sharks. And here's Pickett on Smith. Let's see who gets it. And uh, Pickett manages to score on Kelgen Smith. Here are the uh, Liberty with the ball. Pickett pulls up from three, gets it to go. The seven foot six big man making a three-point jump shot. Scary stuff there. Here's Noah Sheffield, pulls up from mid-range. Uh, last second shot there, good job there. Sharks with the ball, gives it to Jackson Coffey, pulls up from three, and makes a three-point jump shot there. Jackson Coffey had a great la uh, last season for the Sharks. Uh, one of the best small forwards in the league already. Here's Kelgen Smith with the floater. Gets it to go over uh, Malachi Flynn. They're the 7'4 monster for the Sharks. And here is Sheffield. Who gets it to go? Kind of a weird spin there. Uh, he didn't really need to spin. He had a clear path, but he gets the slam. But here is Brady Bennett with the three-point jump shot. Who the Sharks signed uh, middle of last season. He's been a great guard off the bench for them. And there was William Whitmore with the big slam there. Uh, he was originally on the Fort Worth Panthers, but got traded to the Sharks last season. He got a big dunk there. And oh my gosh, speaking of big dunks, that was crazy from Miles Bridges. He was uh, wild on that one. And there's Dennis Smith Jr., former um, contestant for the dunk contest in the NBA. Uh, hasn't really showed his dunking ability much in the RBL, but he does uh, right there. There's Arthur Escobar once again with a three-point jump shot. Here's William Whitmore pulling up from three. Three's galore right now. William Whitmore uh, coming off that big slam. Gets a three-point jump shot to go. And here's Malachi Flynn. Gives it to Monty Bates. And gets it to go. The sharpshooter of the year. A winner last season. Gets it to go. And that's going to do it. The Louisville Liberty beat the Tampa Bay Sharks in a close game. And that was a very exciting game. Uh, great showing from both sides. And that's going to do it with this video. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe, comment down any suggestions or uh, what you thought of the video. But we are slowly progressing through Season 4. I cannot wait for, to get to the playoffs once again. Uh, season 3 is going to be hard to top. It was an excellent season we had last year, especially with the, uh, the bracket challenge and all that. So definitely make sure to keep up with the series. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.